Welcome, welcome. You and I to another episode of the Global Latin Factor podcast where we talk about Latino everything. Welcome back to another episode. I hope you're enjoying the episodes that we're putting out. Remember, go and subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. For all the new subscribers, we appreciate you very much. Thank you very much. And once again, we have amazing, amazing contribution to the world by the Latino community. And we're going to tell you all about that here in just a couple of seconds. You're ready. I hope you're able to get this one because I guarantee you, you probably had one already this week. We talking about avocado, aguacate, or aguacate. That is the now what word from the origin in Central and South America. And it has spread all over the world. The role of the avocado in modern culture and cuisine and the avocado is rich and fascinating. And I'm going to tell you all about the history of aguacate. That's right. The avocado, and as once again, they call it the poster child of the uh, millennial health eating. So we're going to see if that's true or not. The origin of the avocado, as I mentioned earlier, is a native to Central and South America and has been cultivated for thousands of years by indigenous communities this uh, region in the in the region the aztecs in particular had a significant culture and dietary relationship with the avocado so they knew about the avocado even in the aztec culture that's right they call the the fruit awak awak which means testicles and it's believed that they had aphrodisiac properties Avocados were also import, an important source of the Aztec's diet because they contain healthy fats and a range of essential, essential mineral, minerals and vitamins to, you know, for you to consume. So it's, it's an amazing thing that they have. Now, how did the avocado spread all over the world? Well, as we know, the Spaniards and the Portuguese explorers traveled to the Americas in the 16th and 17th century. They encountered the avocado and brought it back to Europe, of course, uh, w brought it with them to the Europe. From there, the avocado spread to other parts of the world, including Asia and the United States. In the 19th and 20th century, new varieties of avocado were introduced and the avocado industry began to grow. So, you know that the avocado has been a major thing. Super Bowl, there's a lot of avocados being consumed. Today, a major avocado producing country includes Mexico, the United States, Chile, and while other countries as well are Japan, China, and the United Kingdom are major importers of avocado. Avocado is all over the world. Talk about a global land factor, a contribution from the Latino community. Avocado cultivation comes a long way since the days of the Aztecs. Today, a modern technique and technology are used to grow avocados on a large scale. And the avocado has become an important, very, very important commodity in international trade. So from its humble beginnings of barely being domesticated to being all over. In fact, the avocado is often referred to as the green gold due to their, their high demand and their significance to the e economic impact of the avocado industry. Here's the fun fact. Fun fact, did you know that the avocado is technically a berry? Yeah, it's also the only fruit that doesn't ripen, ripen in the tree, so it has to be off the tree. Avocados have to be picked and when they're still green and then allowed to ripen to, as far as once it falls off the tree. Now, here's a little hack. I don't know if you know if it's not. Quick break to let you know, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. I know you know that it helps us whenever you subscribe. Hit the like button and comment. Help us out. We appreciate it very much. And now back to the episode. But I know it works for me. 
If you want to help with the ripening of your avocados, if you get avocados that are green, usually it should be ripening around five to 10 days or so. But if you want to speed that up, you take your avocados, you put them inside a paper bag and you put them on top of your refrigerator in about a day or two. Make sure you check on them. Don't forget them because they're going to go bad. Once you check on them, I guarantee that they're going to be ripened. It's I don't know the the I don't know the science behind it, but I guarantee you if you do that, your avocados will be ripened like faster than if you was just to leave them outside. And it's crazy how that works. I'm telling you, try it out. And if you do try it, comment and let me know. In modern culture, the avocado has become a popular superfood known for its health benefits and versatility in the kitchen. Now, dishes like guacamole and uh, avocado toast and even avocado ice cream have gained widespread popularity in recent years. I've never tried avocado ice cream. So if you have tried it, let me know in the comments. Okay, but the avocado's culture significant goes even beyond just its taste and nutritional value. So there's it's deep within that. In many parts of the world, the avocado is a symbol of abundance, prosperity, and good luck. I did not know that about the avocado. It's interesting to know that. Another thing that you might not know, did you know the avocados also has a different name such as alligator pear? And it's kind of makes sense because the name kind of it originated in the United States and is based because of the way the avocado looks, the rough green skin and kind of reminiscences of an alligator. So I can see why. Butterfruit. And that's another name that is used. This is because it's often and this one is often used in India and other parts of Asia. And it's referred to the avocado's creamy, buttery texture. We know all about the ones that are, enjoy avocado. Another one, this is just what it says, midget tree. This is something that is used in Australia and is referred to uh, the avocado's small size and stature compared to other trees. So the tree itself is not a big tree. It's a smaller tree. Another name for avocado here in the United States is poor, man, poor man's butter. This is because, again, the buttery, buttery texture of the avocado and is used here in the United States. And a lot of people use it as, as I guess you could say, it's butter, like in toast and substitute for butter in some recipes. So that's that's crazy. Now, this is just a brief history of the avocado from its humble beginnings in Central and South America. to so the spread all over the world, talking about a global Latin factor, the role of the avocado plays a major role in modern culture and cuisine. The avocado is truly remarkable fruit, a remarkable fruit, a berry. And again, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Global Latin Factor podcast. The uh, amount of the amount of impact that the uh, avocado does to the economy is incredible however i do want to let you know that avocados do consume a lot of water so there's maybe not so biodegradable as far as the you can kind of sort of see the reason why some people are not really what are uh, like supportive of avocado as far as cultivating avocados because what it, it takes as far as the percentage and the amount of water that it takes to grow an avocado and the time itself, I mean, uh, we do want to let you know that part. But even though the lady that I was listening to in the video said, like, she doesn't really believe in superfood. I don't know if they're superfoods or not, but or superfoods. But the avocado itself, by itself, it, it is rich in nutrients. It is has good fats. It's great to add to your diet if you want to include, you know, additional uh, plant-based things into your diet. And if you don't know where to start, if you're okay with the texture, because some people are, I don't know why they don't like the texture of it, because it's creamy, maybe that's what it is. But if you do want to try it and enjoy it, again, I do want to be forward and let you know that some of the things that uh, that there are really, it takes a lot of water to grow avocado. So if you do happen to get an avocado in your hand, hope that you do acknowledge that it took a lot for the avocado to be to your table grow it not to mention cultivate it to grow it to actually get it to your your plate takes a lot so i hope you do appreciate the avocado that you 
get to enjoy another contribution to the world of the Latino culture that has touched all over. I mean, it's been incorporated into your diet. Uh, Super Bowl commercials, you always see the avocados from Mexico. And that's part of the ones that originated. Um, so, again, amazing contribution from the Latino community. This is just a brief history of the avocado. You, there's a whole lot more uh, videos and different content, but we want to put that the fact that it is a Latino contribution, hence the global Latin factor and the reason why. If you're not a Latino and you are enjoying the content, we appreciate you very much for being here. We just want to show you that we are just people. We're just like you. And uh, we just want to continue to show that. Once again, thank you for joining us for another episode. Make sure you go and subscribe to the channel, The Global Latin Factor Podcast. And if you are on audio only, leave us a comment and go rate us. We appreciate you very much for being here, for enjoying the content. Tell a friend to tell a friend to help us spread the word of The Global Latin Factor Podcast. And remember, we are just like you. We are human beings. We are just like you. We are the spice in this melting pot. And it is the world. Till next time. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much for checking out another episode of the Global Latin Factor Podcast. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell. It means a lot to us. You don't understand how much you are appreciated whenever you do that. It helps us so much. And we are quickly moving on different platforms of the Latino community so we can bring you a lot more important content about Latinos. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you very much. What is the la vigo? Walks like a pedo, but in fact he's a flamingo. Coming to Havana, and from Puerto Rico. On a pirate ship, he don't know where do we go. The birds of the jungle chasing fortune and fame, but Juan is flamingo, is not walking the same. Balaje de la flauta and banana. Food.